Hi everyone, in this video we're going to answer the most in-demand question in 2021 which is what framework I should learn in 2021 as a front-end developer. So either if you're a newbie or an intermediate developer, whether you've been like doing JavaScript for the past three, two years, or just like getting started with JavaScript, HTML and CSS and web development in general, well, you probably should be looking into like a front-end development framework to jump into and get started because mostly companies right now are just like requiring as many frameworks as you could and you can't get into this job or land a job without knowing and mastering a specific framework for that specific company. So a lot of companies require something like React, Vue.js or Angular in order to land a job or even get an interview chance in their companies. So in this video, we'll try to discuss the most in-demand like frameworks and front-end frameworks and whether you should go with which one depending on your skill sets, your background in programming and in web development in general, and what type of projects or companies you want to land job on or get even an interview chance on. Well, the first and the most known one, which is React. React is a library rather than a framework because it does a single thing and it does it right. It only handles the view and the state and that's all it does. It doesn't care about the model, it doesn't care about the controllers or the MVC pattern. It only does the view and it renders things into the web page and it does it absolutely right. So React is quite a huge ecosystem. It has a lot of other libraries maintained by the community and its origin has been created by Facebook and maintained by Facebook. So you have no doubt in the long term support if you're looking for a production ready or just like a long time support framework to just keep an eye on and get started working with. I know a lot of you have probably worked with React and created some projects or even just know the name of React and know how famous it is, how many developers and how many, you know, fame it does out there on YouTube, Reddit, everywhere. So yeah, it is your chance to get started with React. But the main point in here, React is not for everyone. So as far as I can tell you, with my experience, I have a decent working experience in production based and, you know, large scale projects. Well, for React, you should know at least a little bit like web development and you have to know at least like two years of web development using either vanilla JavaScript and manipulating the DOM elements, uh, working with specific things like APIs, AJAX, RESTful APIs, so on and so forth. At least those things, just like, you know, basic stuff going on back in here, so you can get started working with React without any issues. So this way, you can quickly get started and scaffold the React application and start working with it. So that you can understand the how React works, how state management works, and you can integrate other libraries like React Router to do the routing, uh, or stuff like React Redux thing to integrate the store and stuff like that. So all that happens in here is you have to know intermediate things. If you're just getting started, probably React won't be the best choice for you. We will discuss this later in the video, but you should like, you know, just get started with it and get started with something different. And as the stats shows actually, React is the most in demand and wanted to learn framework or library in 2020 and 2021. So this depends on the hacker rank research and I've pulled out from there and it's clear to see React is just taking a huge gap there uh, among other frameworks and libraries. So React is well known and a lot of people, I mean a lot, are willing to learn and master React to learn jobs. So if you want to learn your job as soon as possible and master a great framework that won't die soon anywhere, so it just it goes from 2021 and beyond, where React is perfectly the best place to go for right now. The second one is Vue.js. So Vue is a UI framework that allows you to quickly and easily learn the framework and render stuff on a web page. It actually follows the classical approach of template and rendering, so it allows you to quickly split up the logic between your components or your JavaScript code and your HTML template. So if you're familiar with AngularJS, the 1.1 AngularJS version, the classical older version, well Vue follows this pattern and it uses the same classical approach as AngularJS, but Vue is way much more updated and actually it is the easiest framework among all of these to get started with and learn it and master it in no time. So if you're just getting started with web development and want to just get started with a framework, Vue.js is the best place to go with. It also uses virtual DOM as React does, so it is 
performance boosted as React it is, and you can quickly get started since the learning curve of Vue.js is really, really small and just like easy to follow. And Vue has increased its popularity compared to other frameworks and libraries between 2018 and 2020. So as previously in here, we see it, we will be seeing it grinding more in 2021. And depending on the chart in here, it's taking the eighth place, which is a great place for Vue.js, a completely rebranded new and small framework. Yeah it completely deserves it. So my advice about Vue.js, if you're just a beginner and getting started with web development with JavaScript, vanilla JavaScript and stuff like that, well, Vue.js is your way in. Uh, probably you can just pick up Vue.js, get a start with it in two weeks or something, you can easily build uh, medium sized applications in no time. And obviously there's so much companies there are so many companies out there actually offering Vue.js positions and you can find one among them so you can you can feel yourself there without any issues and after just learning Vue.js what you can do is simply jump ship into React because Vue.js and React has a lot of similarities and you can easily learn the React thing because you already mastered Vue.js and there's no quite much of differences between these frameworks or the React library. And lastly, there is Angular. So Angular is a web application based framework created and maintained by Google. And it has a lot of similarities among other libraries and framework, but this one is a huge framework. So it's a full package that has everything from the router, the manager, everything out there, not like React, it only does care about the view and it does about care about the rendering. So Google here did a great job of just like putting everything in a single package and maintaining it. So you're not going to find a lot of fragmented community there, fragmented libraries, and just like have difficulties like React to understand what is going on behind the scenes. But for Angular, it's pretty simple. You just pick up one package, you get started with, and you are ready to go to start learning or working with the Angular JS. And I find out like a lot of people just doesn't exactly get the point between our like the similarities and the differences between angular js which is normally called angular 1.1 and the angular 2 and just above it so they are completely two different versions and the first one is just like an old classical one that everyone should avoid it still exists by the way and still a lot of companies depend on it work on it but yeah just like completely override it and created the new Angular version. So up from two, I don't go all the way to seven, eight, I think seven is last, and there's a complete rewrite. So you should go with this specific version, the newer version. However, Angular can be slightly harder to learn depending on its learning curve and compared to other libraries and frameworks like React and Vue.js, since it introduces completely new aspects and new patterns to work with, for example, it has to use or you have to use a TypeScript in order to be able to work with the Angular. So you have to master TypeScript in one way and you have to be introduced to a new ecosystem and new variables and new, you know, types and stuff like that. Everything TypeScript has to introduce and you have to master it first to well know it then you can get started with Angular. So for beginners, this can be quite intimidating to get started with. So you have to learn TypeScript first. So my advice in this part in here is actually you first go with like frameworks like Vue.js I said before, you can jump to React if you really like performance and stuff like that. And I see like React, a lot of people loving it, including me actually, of course. And you can jump to Angular whenever you have like a pretty large scale projects that a lot of teams and a lot of developers depend and work on. So Angular is great in this side. It just like provides a lot of uh, comfortability to go with. Uh, if the, just know you can maintain it however you want. And you know, it's a large scale project. So with Google maintenance in here, you're not gonna be worrying much about the project. And if you took a look on this chart in here, it's actually like what frameworks companies requires versus what developers already know on the types of frameworks. As we in here, we see like AngularJS is actually taking the lead of what companies are actually, you know, uh, depending or requiring on their job and positions and what developers already know. And that's because AngularJS has been the first version. It came out years before React came out to the field. And obviously a lot of people jumped ship from vanilla JavaScript into using this awesome new AngularJS framework. So you're probably going to end up a lot of developers already new and works with the legacy Angular JS. But still, the Angular, the newer version, share the same similarities 
as the older versions. And that's it. So if you have these similarities, if you like have a background or something like that, um, you can jump for the perfect framework you find it here in the video. And it depends on what you know, if you're a beginner, intermediate, what you were looking for, what you're going for, type of project, and what is your programming background and web development background in general. So I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. If you like these type of video tutorials, let me know. I'll be happy to make it more like this. And yeah, with all of you guys, hope you guys enjoyed it. Catch up. Please make sure to like, you know, put that like button. Of course, uh, press it down there and subscribe for more videos like this. Leave us a comment, why not? And hopefully I'll catch you all in the next couple of video tutorials, guys. Catch you ones in the next ones.